can do it. Ugh. Whew. Well, I'm continuing to train my body to be as fit as it can be. You know astronauts spend a lot of time on fitness too. Here's a question for you. How much time do you think astronauts spend on fitness while in space? 30 minutes? I like to get up and play for 60 a day. Astronauts spend more than an hour a day on fitness. What do you think that is? Train for a space marathon? To win the first outer space bodybuilding competition. Exercising is a priority in space, almost as important as eating and sleeping. Space exploration is a very important job. In order to do their job effectively, astronauts have to make physical fitness a high priority in their day. Doing this helps them stay healthy when they return from space. In space, there's no gravity for their bodies to work against. You might be wondering, well, why would I want to work against gravity? Well, your body working against the pushing force of gravity actually helps keep you fit and healthy. Without that opposing force in space, our bodies become very lazy. And a lazy body returning to Earth is not a good thing. Hey, Globy, maybe I could get some workout tips from our friends over at the NASA Johnson Space Center. They help keep our NASA astronauts healthy. Hi, Evan. I was wondering if maybe you could show us some of the equipment that the astronauts use to stay healthy. I'd be really happy to talk to you about the exercise equipment that they have in space. The astronauts have three different pieces of exercise hardware that they use. They have a treadmill, they have a stationary bicycle, and they have resistive exercise. This is called Sevis. It's like the astronauts' stationary bike. In space, since they don't have gravity, they don't need a seat to sit on. The astronauts just let their bodies float, so they have special shoes that can clip into the pedals, like that. And now they won't float away while they're exercising. This is the A-RED, which is kind of like the astronauts' weightlifting machine. Here on the ground, uh, the way that we do our weightlifting is we use barbells and dumbbells to provide resistance to make our muscles strong. But in space, those barbells and dumbbells wouldn't work because without gravity, they don't weigh anything. So instead, they have to use this special machine, A-RED. The way it works is it has these two cylinders and all the air is pushed out of those cylinders and that creates a vacuum. So the astronaut has to pull against the vacuum to lift the bar, which gives the bar a certain amount of weight. Behind me is Tevis. This is the treadmill. They use this treadmill to get their aerobic exercise, which is good for their heart, and also they use it for strengthening their bones. In space, without gravity, the astronauts would just float off of the treadmill. So they have to use bungees like this one, and they attach those to a harness. And these things will pull the astronauts down and keep them on top of the treadmill so that they can run and get a good workout. The tread on that machine looks a little different than the one I see at a gym. That's right. This one has stainless steel slats on the belt. They did used to have plastic, but when it went up to space, with all the astronauts pounding on it every time they ran, the slats, the plastic little pieces of it would break off and float around in space, and that's really dangerous because it could get in the astronauts' eyes. So that's a newer and improved version. Yes, we try to do that a lot. We capture mistakes that have happened or, or damage, and we try to make sure that that doesn't happen in the future by redesigning old parts or designing new parts. It looks like you're doing another exercise on that machine. Yes, right now Dr. Lindgren is doing bicep curls. A-RED also has a cable or an exercise rope that comes out of the platform and he can pull on that rope and do several different exercises. NASA is currently preparing for missions back to the moon and Mars. The lucky astronauts that get to participate in these missions will have to exercise in order to stay healthy during these long missions. Who will those astronauts be? Who knows, it could be you. Thank you.